Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we installed everything. So we, we are ready to install a lot of L6 now on our computer. We got everything ready. Okay, so if you go to the Laravel, uh, Laravel page, you need to go to the documentation and get started. Installation. And if you scroll down, you can see we're gonna install Laravel through Composer. So all we need to do is copy, let's run a git bash. And just paste the code here. And I would like to point that we install Laravel as a global so we can create a new project anywhere on our computer. New Laravel project anywhere on our computer. Right, that's done. So you are ready to create your new Laravel project, new, applica new Laravel application. So to do this, all you need to do Laravel new and your application name. So I want to create my new application on the D drive. Uh, So I want to create my new application here. I just delete this. We created it in the previous videos. Okay, so git bash here. And type in la rubble new. And let's just name your project, whatever you want. I call it fresh app. And as you can see, Laravel is creating our uh, uh, project. Right, so when you see application is ready, that's when you know that uh, your application has been created. It was very long for me. It took about 15 minutes or maybe more to to uh, create this new application. But don't worry, next time Laravel won't uh, download everything again. Uh, Laravel will load it from cache, so it's going to be much faster next time. But the first time, it took a long time for me. Right, so if you check it, you get here our, uh, our new fresh app, as we named it. So all we need to do is uh, just open it in our Visual Studio Code Editor. Let's run the code editor, close these out. We use it in the previous videos and open a folder. Right, it was it and fresh app select close this one and all these folders and files uh, belongs to your freshly installed uh, new Laravel application and if you want to see how it looks like at the moment the freshly installed Laravel we need to follow the next step of uh, of the uh, commands and as you can see, PhD artisan surf. You could, you could surf this uh, new application by example, 
but it's much easier and much faster to serve through PHP Artisan. So just copy. And of course you need to CD because we are at the uh, D drive, but CD fresh app. We are inside the fresh app and now we can do PHP Artisan serve. And here you go, you get this address and we just need to open it in our browser. And let's see how our application looks like at the moment. Hit enter and here you go, here is your brand new Laravel application up and running. So we can close these windows out now and let's focus to our new application. And maybe you all wondering where is where is this start uh, starting page can come from? If you go back to our what was it? Close this one. Right. So we have this uh, boilerplate uh, base HTML here. And if you go to routes web, as you can see, if the visitor visit the home page, the slash mean the home page mean nothing. So there is nothing after this. So basically just a slash, which is loading the same page. Then a function will return a view called welcome. But where is this welcome view? Well, if you go to resources folder, then views, you're gonna find a welcome.blade.php. Don't worry about this uh, blade section here. Blade is a templating e uh, engine for uh, Laravel. I will talk about later on about this. So you can find this uh, welcome, welcome page here. And if you click on it, open it, uh, and if you scroll down, you can see all the HTML stuff and uh, what we can see in the browser. So if we, if we change this one, fresh new app and save it, refresh the page, and here you go. We got here the fresh new app. So what about if uh, we would like to create like about page at the moment 404 error page not found. Of course we haven't seen any about.play.php in our views it hasn't been created yet and we, we got no route for that uh, endpoint. So what if you would like to create a slash about page. Let me just copy it, paste it here. So obviously we would like to our web our website slash about. So type in about and we don't want to load load this view again. We would like to load a different view. Let's call it about. Let's see what happened if we create the route, but we haven't got a view. Refresh. And as you can see, we haven't got the 404 error message now. We got a different error, which is say view about not found. So if we go back in our resources views, and we create a new file about dot blade dot php oops sorry for the slash so as I said don't worry about this blade I will talk about later on that's created and as we installed emit what we need to do exclamation mark hit tab and we got a HTML boilerplate. 
let's uh, rename the page title to about and let's create h1 tag this is the about page for our new app let's see what happens now hit fresh and as we expected we can visit now the website name slash about so if we go back to our home page our home page serve the welcome view from resources views welcome and if we visit slash about we serve we return a view about called about from the resources views about okay so let's see what if we would like to create uh, a variable and we would like to pass the variable in to this about page so we can echo it out like instead of new app we would like to dynamically change the application name so for example we could echo out php echo like app name for example of course at the moment we doesn't have any variable like app name so probably we're gonna get an error or just uh, yeah undefined variable app name so let's define that variable app name equal it's gonna be a string like an other app let's see what happens now we got the same error because this view doesn't know anything about this we need to pass inside to this view and how we do it so that's how we that's where we pass in this uh, variable app name equals so app name gonna be equals to app name <coughs> <coughs> and if we visit the page again sure enough we got another app here so we have a variable here so of course it could be change app name to this means this and this one is referred here so if I haven't changed here just save it variable app name hasn't been defined because we passed in app name 2 so we need to press 2 here save it refresh sure enough we got again right but that's where we, the t blade template engine comes in to play instead of all this we can run PHP code inside two uh, curl brackets we don't need all this stuff so it's same as PHP and echo you just need to curly brackets curly brackets and close in tags as well save it and sure enough you get the same result Okay, let's continue in the next episode.